The task was to push the other robots out of the ring. Basically, we would just try and build robots that can sense their environment. And we use that using sensors. For us personally, we use IR sensors to detect, detect uh, lines and a distance sensor that will say high or low whether or not it sees something in front of it or not. Okay. And that's how we sense the enemy. Just like sumo wrestling, but uh, the diversion with robots. All the teams had to pick out their own motors, code up their own sensors, how to house everything. So a lot of wiring, a lot of controls, and a lot of hardware machining. It had to be under five pounds, and it had to be within 10 inches by 10 inches by, I think, six inches. Well, and then it had to be able to be fully autonomous, meaning that it needs to guide itself around. So we had a tournament today double elimination tournament, so two losses knocks you out. One of the reasons why we were able to stay inside the ring so well is because we made sure that the uh, infrared sensors on each corner could de really detect the line and react accordingly. Well, if you could just stay in, you're, there's a pretty good chance that the other teams are just gonna run themselves out. <laughs> Students get into it, gives them a goal to compete for. Oh, oh. Go! 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 And they worked, worked really hard at it.